Hello, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to uh, convert a VCF file into a data frame file using R. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, I have um, my colleagues here, we have our folders. Um, so you're going to go ahead and select one of these files and download it to your computer. Um, I've already downloaded this one, so I'm just going to cancel it, but I downloaded it and I moved it to my desktop here. So then in R, um, we're going to need to use this Pegas package. Um, so you'll load that. Then um, we'll go ahead and read in our file here, which is uh, A3 is the file name. Um, OK, so we'll read that in. Uh, let's see, make sure it came in, um, A3, okay, cool. So it came in, then now we're going to go ahead and use this Pegas package to convert it from a VCF file into a data frame. Um, so we'll go ahead and run that. This is going to take a minute, so I'm going to pause the video here. Okay, so that's finished running. So next up, we're gonna see how many SNPs are on the first chromosome here. Um, so we'll run that. Um, and so this one has um, over 2 million. It's a rather large one. Um, okay, so after we found out the number of SNPs, um, we're gonna go ahead and insert it into here. With this, we're creating a new data frame with just the number of rows that is equal to the number of SNPs. Um, I'm just going to make sure and follow along here and make sure this changes. OK, so we see that changes. And then we see the position of the SNPs here. Um, so now. We have our new data frame, 2 million, 2.7 million rows. Um, so now we're going to set the variable P to equal our number of SNPs on the first chromosome. And we're going to change this variable to our isolate number, which just double check. Yeah, it was A3. OK, um, and then this is also uh, creating a, creating 2 million rows with um, and adding zeros on each one for each one there. Um, I'm just going to make sure. OK, so now we see our new variable here. Um, okay, next we're going to add a one in the place of every place that we just added a zero for, uh, if the position matches up. Um, let's see, okay, just double checking everything. Okay, so then go ahead and do that. All right. And then now we're going to see if that worked. So then we should have snip at one and then a snip at 352. Um, looks like it's probably about right. And then 493. 
Okay, cool. So it looks like we're good. Um, and so then the final step here is we will save this as a data frame file to our desktop, the isolate name. And then just as a final, final check, we'll read it back into R. Make sure it's saved on the desktop here. Okay, there it is. And then we'll read it back into R. And then we'll just test it one more time. Okay, looks good. And then finally, we'll just upload it back into our box folder. All right, and that's it. Thanks.